Patricia Louise Holt Edwards. She's professionally known as Patty LaBelle. Recently, I invited her into the Valdru BB show, Satellite Studio, to discuss living with type 2 diabetes. Good morning, ladies. Thank you, and welcome to the Valder Beebe Show. How are you? Fine. Great. I would like my audience to know that today I get to speak with the legendary singer, Patti LaBelle. You know, she learned she had diabetes over 20 years ago, and we're going to find out, hopefully, how she manages that disease. And she brought a great friend. She brought Liz Ward, who's a registered dietitian, to give us some technical information. Ladies, thank you once again for joining me on the Valder BB Show. Thank you. Thank you. If I could start with you, Miss Patty, you're bigger than everybody, but I'm going to start with Miss Ward so she can give us the medical understanding. Liz, what is diabetes? Well, diabetes is a problem with regulating your blood glucose, which a lot of people call blood sugar levels. And the reason would be if you don't have enough insulin, you don't make enough insulin, or the insulin that you have that allows the energy to get into your cells is just not getting in there. So what you do when you have a, a diagnosis of diabetes is ask for a referral to a registered dietitian from your doctor so that you can get a personalized eating plan that helps to, um, you know, personalize how much carbohydrate, how many calories, how much sodium and whatnot so that you can live um, your healthiest life even though you do have diabetes and That's it's possible, true. right? Oh, it's possible. I'm living proof. <laughs> This is your turn to tell me. We know you have type 2 diabetes. How do you manage your uh, diabetes? So easy. I uh, First of all, I, I cook all the time anyway. So I cook my food and I know what's in my food. Uh, I know how many, you know, the calories, the carbohydrates, and the less sugar and the less salt. I take my pots and pans on the road and my hotel suite, and I set up kitchen, making sure I have the right foods when I'm traveling, because you know when you're on the road, it's hard. And I also, I've started exercising a bit more than I used to 22 years ago. I walk my dog, I get in the pool and pretend to swim because I can't swim, but I do stuff like that. And I, um, I just really on stage, that's exercise because I roll on the floor and kick off my shoes and I'm up there for maybe two hours. And that's really great exercise for me. That's what I've been used to for 54 years, just rolling on that floor. <laughs> and I, uh, I treat myself better because everything that I used to use milk for, I use calorie countdown. You know, the beverage is so good with my macaroni and cheese, with uh, the cereals, the coffee, the omelets, the whatever you use you know, milk for you use the calorie countdown. And that's, I've been living well with this. I have mm -hmm. diabetes. Diabetes does not have me, Valder. I know, Miss LaBelle, you don't realize how powerful your words are. There's a lot of people tuned in today just because uh, I told them you were going to be on the show. Thank you. Talking about type 2 diabetes, and I really appreciate your words because this is a serious disease and people have to take it seriously, but yeah. you can control it, obviously. Oh, yeah. You know, Valder, and when I was diagnosed 22 years ago, I remember my mother had legs amputated before she died. My aunt, she lost her eyesight, and my uncle also lost his eyesight. So I knew how important it was for me to put that fried chicken down, and I did. You made a good choice. And we're going to talk mm -hmm. about Patty's place on TV because I love to watch oh. you on that. Just a moment. <laughs> but I got to ask uh, Liz, Liz, is Miss... Uh, LaBelle's story, is it typical? And when I mean typical, do people, when they find out they got diabetes, change their habits or do they keep on the same road? Well, um, it's typical in the sense that diabetes does run in families. Um, and so you might want to get checked if it runs in your family and, and really monitor yourself. 
But, you know, a diagnosis of diabetes is often a very big surprise. And yes. um, it's difficult to change every single one of your habits overnight. So one of the best things to do is to start with reducing how much carbohydrate you take in mm -hmm. and really learning where that carbohydrate is and where all those added sugars are. So stop drinking the soda, um, mm -hmm. you know, stop with the sweets. Yeah. Um, but don't but give up things like fruit, right? It took me a real year. Yeah. to really realize that I had to stop doing exactly. bad things because right. I cheat every now and then. Right. And then I stopped cheating and I really took it as life or death. Mm -hmm. That's really what it is. Well, it is. And, and you know, you don't be. see that right away, but mm -hmm. you really need to take care of your blood glucose level because it affects so many other areas of your body. Patty mentioned circulation with the uh, legs, mm -hmm. um, eyesight, but also your heart health. That's right, and it is just called the silent killer, I think, because like Miss Patty said, we don't see the effects of it, so you think a little cheating is okay. Yes. Right, and you know, um, I know what she means when she says cheating. I don't see it as cheating mm -hmm. because I think it's just, you know, you can eat just about anything that you want, really, and this, I think this is news to people, as yeah. long as it's part of your plan, you know, your personalized plan. And you I have say a, in moderation. Yeah, in moderation. When I cheat, it's in moderation. If you cheat yes. in moderation, she uh -huh. doesn't cheat. Ms. Patty, okay, so people are going to say, we see you on TV on Patty's Place cooking. We know yeah. you cook at home. Is that a part of your plan? To do what, sweetie? to maintain your diabetes. Oh, because you got a yeah. cooking show. I yeah. cook and what I cook on the show it would be fried fish, it would be fried whatever, whatever, whatever. The guests tell me what they want and so I cook for them, but I don't usually eat all of that stuff that I used to eat. Yeah. Okay. That's a big change. Mhm. Mm you know what, Valder, we we have so many tips for you. We have so many recipes. We just want to make sure that we tell you that you can go to hoodcaloriecountdown.com yes. and get so many different recipes. Like, Patty, you just mentioned cooking. Mm -hmm. So, you know, let's cook. Let's cook with Calorie Countdown. Ladies, yeah. thank you. I want to thank you so much for being my guest. And Miss Patty, you're going to have to come back because i got to find out what you're up to so I can watch you on TV. Oh, thank you, Valder. I'll let you know. <laughs> Thank you, ladies, for being okay. my guest, but thank you for this important information. Thank you, thank Dallas. You.